What's up everybody? I've got a quick video for you here today about one of my favorite impressions of pretty much all of them. But uh this right here is a uh Kriegsmarine infantry impression, specifically of the uh second Marine Infantry Division in uh April of nineteen forty five. So if most of you didn't know, um just like the Luftwaffe, the Kriegsmarine did have several field divisions that were made up in around February of 1945. It's hard to tell since late war a lot of the documentations were destroyed, but uh, overall there was around four, maybe five Kriegsmarine divisions. The first and the second were the largest and most heavily engaged. The first division was formed and sent to the Oder Front on the Oder River Bank in the Eastern Front and they were pretty much annihilated by Russian troops over there and the second division which is what this is depicting it was sent to the Wesser Aller line in Germany and they fought the uh, 53rd Welsh Division and uh, over a long period of time and they were actually uh, considered to be the most effective fighting force on the Western Front during uh, April of 1945. So I'm going to go over some of the equipment that I have depicting this very unique unit. So we'll start off with the headgear and work my way down. So up here I have two M40 field caps, Kriegsmarine style, with uh, Kriegsmarine insignia. This is the uh, shipboard style. This is made by Lost Battalions, and I've seen a few photos of Marine Infantry, and they did wear the blue Kriegsmarine style caps, as well as the uh, coastal, uh, excuse me, coastal artillery style Feldgrau caps, like so. So th that's my headgear, and then this right here is what I'm most proud of. This is my M40 style Kriegsmarine tunic. Now, if you don't know the difference, the main difference, there's a couple other minor differences between the Kriegsmarine style of tunic and the army style is that the bottom pockets are sewn into the seam. They're interior pockets with just an exterior flap rather than completely exterior pockets. Now, the Kriegsmarine produced only two different variations of tunics. So where you have the M36, the M40, the M41, the M42, the M43, and the M44 for German tunic, or uh, here tunics rather. The Kriegsmarine only had an M40 style and an M42 style. So of these two, the most common by far was the M40 style and even pictures of Marine infantry troops up until May of 1945 still have the M40 style tunic. So, going over this, this is a tunic made by Wehrmacht ES out of Spain. They're, as far as I know, the only people that manufacture a reproduction Kriegsmarine tunic. I'll do a review on these specific tunics later because they're phenomenal. But, going on to the insignia, I've got generic Kriegsmarine shoulder boards made by GD43. I've got a uh, mouse gray Litson made by Richard Underwood and folded by Jerry Ferguson. Now another thing with Kriegsmarine uniforms is I don't exactly know why but they use a ton of private purchase insignia. So this is an original Kriegsmarine embroidered eagle and like I said even up until May of 1945 you can see those in pictures. So. Moving on, all of the buttons on here are original khaki painted Kriegsmarine uh, Coastal Artillery style buttons. Now these buttons are so damn hard to find and I have a complete set of them. Every single one of them on here is original with the original paint and they're very difficult to find, put it that way. I was lucky enough to get an entire set and that includes the shoulder board buttons 
Now the shoulder board buttons are smaller than the uh, tunic buttons. Uh, I found a guy that collects these specific buttons and he was nice enough to sell me an entire tunic's worth of them. So I'm pretty happy about that. Right here I have a high seas fleet badge. The second Marine Division, Marine Infantry Division rather, was uh, recruited mainly off of the high seas fleet U-boat crews in northern Germany and uh, just overall surplus personnel, airsats, battalions. They're pretty much a smattering of every different kind of unit you could imagine. And that includes uh, even, they had SS troops in there. There was the 12th SS replacement battalion that was part of them, as well as uh, there was here troops, there was Luftwaffe troops, all rolled up into the 2nd Marine Infantry Division. Um, so I've also got a Obergefreiter, Kriegsmarine, which would be Matrosen Obergefreiter for the Kriegsmarine. Uh, this is a reproduction. Uh, Chevron there. So that's pretty much it for the tunic. You'll probably see that again in an overall uh, review of that tunic. So I also have the most common style of tunic used by the Kriegsmarine were the uh, M40 style of tunic, or uh, trousers rather. And a lot of the time they were worn bloused over, so just untucked in the jack boots or um, just loose over the low boots, whichever they were using at the time. Uh, not a whole lot to say about those, they're the same as the army pattern. Coming down here, we've got some other stuff. This is a very rare English reproduction of a Kriegsmarine buckle. And this is absolutely identical to an original. I could sell this right now as an original buckle. This was additionally very difficult to find. Um, yeah, I found it on Facebook. Somebody sold a bunch of Kriegsmarine stuff and I picked it up. I additionally have my Kriegsmarine sold book, which is not filled out yet, but I'm working on it. I have to find a source for KM stamps. And then I have my Kriegsmarine dog tag or Air Cannons marker. They're very simple and a lot smaller than the Army ones. I did it up for a 44 enlistment to go along with such a late war impression. And finally, my favorite book on the subject so far. This is pretty much the only resource that I know of that's in English that uh, covers the 2nd Marine Infantry Division. And it's just an outstanding book. It covers their entire engagement formation. Um, it also covers who they fought, which is the 53rd Welsh Division. But it's called No Triumphant Procession by John Russell. And it's just outstanding. There's even photos in the center so of some of the Kriegsmarine troops. Uh, yeah, this picture right here. It's pretty badass. These are some Kriegsmarine infantry officers. This guy's wearing a M44 tunic, actually. But um, Yep, that pretty much covers it. Got my K98 in there just because all of the uh, infantry equipment would have been the exact same as the Army, and I've already showed that. So I would be wearing my M42 helmet. Um, I'm in the process of actually getting a new M35 helmet that I'm gonna do up with a single decal uh, for Kriegsmarine. So that pretty much covers it. This is one of my favorite impressions and I have a bit of an obsession with Kriegsmarine stuff. So you'll see more of that hopefully coming out of this channel. Please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.